Hello everyone, welcome to this very brief tutorial where we're gonna look at how we can run a container inside of Snowpark Container Services. So for this example, we're gonna be launching Metabase and here I have Metabase running inside of Snowflake. Let's take a look at how I did that. First thing, I just wanna share a little readme file that comes along with this repository that I'll be giving you guys. So there are some requirements that right now, it's uh, February 4th, 2024. And as of today, um, this only works in the London region and in the Mumbai region. If you wanna practice this, you have to spin up an account in one of those regions, but this restriction is going away very, very soon. I think maybe by March, 2024, this is no longer an issue, but that's a call out for now. Of course, you need privileges to run this. So the first thing that we're going to do if you're looking in the repository is we have a setup.sql. I would like to look at it just in Snowflake itself because it's just a little bit nicer. So we're going to create some objects just to start out. We're going to create warehouses. You probably already have one, so you don't need to do that. Um, we're going to create a security integration and we're going to bind that security integration to the role. Um, and this is going to allow us to push our docker container to snowflake basically we're also going to create a compute pool this is a new concept within snowflake but this compute pool is the compute resources that are going to be used by our container very importantly here we're going to create the image repository this is one of the uh, crucial steps and the stage and then we can actually show our tutorial compute pool and our image repository and it's called tutorial repository now we need to actually push an image to the image repository. So before we can push an image, we need to create one. So if you just have a look at my Docker file, I have a very basic image that's getting pulled from Docker Hub. It's just getting Metabase from Docker Hub, exposing port 3000, and then giving the machine the instructions to basically run Docker and keep it alive. If I come back over here, these next steps are just how do you push that image up to Snowflake? So you can just follow along those steps, copy paste and put in your parameters and you are good to go. Then you need to actually create a service using uh, create access service.sql, which is shown here. And again, I will show it to you in Snowflake. So here we're going to um, use the tutorial role and schema and everything else that we created. But now we're actually creating a service. So we're gonna call it Metabase service and we're gonna create the service in the tutorial compute pool. And then here's a spec for the service that we're creating with the minimum number of instances, which is always keep one alive and the max number of instances if you want it to scale. Now, once that service is created, you can actually show the service and you get some nice information here about the service. Um, and then describe service is really the same thing. It's just a slightly different metadata. I didn't look too deeply into like here, you get the spec when you use the describe keyword, you could get um, some statuses, you can get some logs. And then the most important point of the whole tutorial is how do you get the endpoint? How do you get the URL at which you're going to be accessing your app, if you will? And that's right here. You're just gonna get this bad boy on your clipboard paste it there and you're going to get um, a Snowflake login screen, log in with your Snowflake credentials and you'll be able to see your app right there. Last thing before I close it out, I did want to let you know there's a very well documented Snowflake tutorial where you can go through step by step of kind of building an image using their documentation. But if you wanted to go through step by step using my tutorial because maybe you're interested in Metabase and you want to see what that looks like inside of Snowflake, now you can do that as well. With that, I hope this helps someone out there and have a great day.